That's our thumbnail. My new glasses. Montreal is a fabulous city, and in this travel series, we're gonna do, see, and eat as much as we possibly can. It's cold, but it's still so pretty, Montreal. <laughs> So make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us on all of our adventures around the world. I don't know if I can do this. Are you sure? Are you sure? But first, hey guys, it's Naz and Daniel, and we are here in Montreal. And somewhere I heard that the bagels here in Montreal are better than New York City. Now that's a big claim. So I'm here to find out if that's true. <laughs> Those sound like fighting words. That claim since New York is supposed to be a, a mecca for great bagels. Uh -huh. um, so we certainly love bagels you especially like the New York I style never bagels. liked bagels until I moved to New York City and then when I moved to New York City I found out what a bagel should taste like so yeah I heard it has to do with the water <laughs> so I don't know how they're gonna replicate that maybe they're not gonna try and replicate it they say it's better so I want to know in what way <laughs> them spiting words <laughs> okay hey oh you know our friends came here Maria and the ball they did a great Quebec travel series so if you guys want to see that We'll post the link downstairs, down, but down below. It's really excellent. <laughs> downstairs, is it? Downstairs. Check out their channel if you haven't already. Definitely do subscribe. They're awesome. Um, but we are here again in Montreal, and we are outside. We're in the car. <laughs> it was so cold outside, so it's we cheated raining. and we kind of <laughs> took the car. It's it's not raining. It's like hailing. But anyway, so we are here outside. What's the restaurant's name again? Uh. La Maison de Original Fairmount Bagel. Okay, so what he said. <laughs> that was not good. So this is Fairmount Bagel. Right. And we're going to try two bagel places. Right? Right. I'm going to check them out because apparently there's a little bit of a rivalry between these two bagel places as well. So why not throw that into the mix too, huh? Yes. So what should we do? Should we... Um, should we get the bagels and have them there and then compare and then do each or, or should we get a bagel from each of those places come back to the car and then do a comparison well, i think time wise we should just get bagels from three places and then three places or from two places <laughs> And then eat them instead of going in and sitting down. We, we should have got. We actually should have gotten a bagel from New York too. Well, we know what they do. <laughs> we do. So we'll grab a bagel from here. Uh huh. A what? A bagel. A what? Bagel. Bagel. Anyway, we have some. A bagel. Bagel. <laughs> and. So I think we should get a bagel know, from each I store and then compare it. Don't you think that's a good idea? Yeah. At least that way we can do a side by side comparison. Okay. We can right? let's just go, go into each I'm place. hungry. We haven't eaten all day. It's like one o'clock already. I'm not gonna tell you why. I am gonna tell you why, because he was sleeping the whole entire morning. Alright, let's go. So we're gonna go. We're gonna get these bagels and we're gonna bring them back here. So we're gonna have and we're gonna do a side by side comparison. So, you guys ready? Let's go. Fair amount of rest, right? Yep. Thank you. 
what's happening? Um, well, the <laughs> snow is really coming down. We're not accustomed to this type of snow. It's huge. Ah. Snowflakes. We're back. We got bagels from both places. And the first place was Fairmont. Uh huh. And the second place Saint Viator. And we brought it back to the car so we can do a side by side comparison. Mano a mano. Uh huh. Like the bags. We can compare the bags if you want. <laughs> this here is the Fairmont. Mm hmm. Ooh. There's my car. I'm gonna make a mess in the car because there's so many sesame seeds that are just falling over the place. You can't even contain them. Mm. We got sesame bagels because that's what we eat a lot at home. So we're kind of familiar with what they taste like. Mm. It's good. It's nice and soft. It's still warm. That's really good. It's got a nice toasted, roasted type flavor. A little crispy on the outside and chewy just the way it should be on the inside. That's very good. Lots of sesame seeds all over the car. And that was the Fairmont. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to try the other one? Mmm. That's completely different, actually. You can taste the difference. That one, um, this one is more fluffy. A little more chewy, but it's actually crispier on the outside. I actually like the flavor of the first one better. Okay, it's my turn to try now. I mean, this claim that it's like, or better than New York bagels, I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna try it. We're just gonna try it plain. I'm not gonna put anything in it. And I'm gonna take a nice little piece of this and if you guys can sort of see. So it's got some nice little gift to that. You know what I mean? Like it's like a little stretchy, you know how bready it is not. I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna try it first. I'm try this one. I'm gonna try the other one. Okay, straight away from trying to break it apart, I notice that there is a little bit of a difference. And I'm expecting this to be a little bit more stretchy and more chewy. Okay. So, the big difference is the second bagel it almost had less salt in it. But both of these, I don't think have any, like hardly any salt. You know how the outside of a New York bagel has that, um, like a, a little bit more of a chewier, like texture on the outside? You know I mean, like it's harder, it's crispier, and it's like really soft on the inside and like, again, chewy. Mm -hmm. Um, the outside, you can feel like, does have a different texture. And I don't know, do we salt our bagels? Is that what the difference is? I don't know. Because this usually feels like a little like a saltier, like outer layer, and then there's like, and it's a nice little mix. I think when you have a New York bagel, that this doesn't have that. Oh, look at that. It's a little different. Yeah. I feel like it's a little bit more breadier, especially the second one. Mm -hmm. And the first one, I gotta try it again. Mm. The first one, I think, is slightly a bit chewier. Mm -hmm. And the second one is a little bit more fluffier and breadier. Okay. I thought it would be the other way around. There's not. You just eat them. So, I don't know. What's the verdict? Well, so we've eaten both the bagels. So what's your opinion between number one and number two? Which do you prefer? Do you prefer Fairmont or do you prefer? Now this is our personal preference. <laughs> this might not <laughs> be the same for all of you. I don't even know if it's going to be the same between us. Um, <laughs> I think it is though. Controversial topic. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously this is our opinion. Maybe um, I know that you may not agree with an opportunity <laughs> to make some bold statements here. Um, We're the, all about making bold statements. The first one, Fairmont Bagel. I actually like the flavor um, of them, the bagel itself and mm -hmm. the dough. It's bagel. got a nice, um, nice flavor to it. Nice sesame roasted flavor to it. And then the second one, 
I actually like the, um, the, the crispiness on the outside and it's a little more bready, like you said, it's softer, um, more chewy. Um, so there are different, actually, aspects of each bagel that I like um, at the same time. So, I wouldn't say that one was better than the other. But for me, um, ever so slightly, I think I like the Fairmont bagel. However, if I wanted a lot of stuff in it, mm -hmm. I think I would go for the section, second option. Like if I put cream cheese or anything like that, because it's like a, do you know what I mean? I think it would be a, like a, a better ratio. Yeah. Huh? Can I amend my decision after well, having another bite? I, I think I actually like the- um, The second one. The Fairmont bagel. The Fairmont, which is the first one. Mm -hmm. But they're just as good as each other. Like they're good. They're both really good. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is very different from New York. Um, I'm not sure if it's better than a New York bagel because nothing is better than a New York bagel. <laughs> New York bagel. I think anyone else can do a New York bagel better than New York can. Um, but it's different. It's good. Like I kind of like it in a different way. I probably like it just as much. Okay. It, it's as good as in a different way but if you're looking for a new york new york bagel and the taste of it the texture and the feel and the just the mouth feel and you, it, yeah it, you, you're gonna have to come to new york i feel like montreal has its own thing with its bagels though okay right i would agree and i i'm not like a huge super bagel fan oh i am though i really like my bagels um but i actually i, I actually like these ones better than the ones in new york <gasps> No, no, it's over now. We're done. We're out.